Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today, we're gonna be remaking Post Malone's track, Rockstar, featuring 21 Savage. Now, I did this video a couple days ago and a lot of you requested a full remake, a step-by-step -step remake, so here it is. I did go ahead and add in some things, made it a 2.0 version, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's set our tempo to the correct one, and the correct one is 80 beats per minute. We're going to start off with that pad sound that is heard throughout the entire track, so let's get to that. We're going to bring in a third party plugin, it's called Nexus 2 by ReFX. So the preset can be found under Epic Pads, and we're gonna use the first one right here, PD Airwave Transaws 1. Let's go ahead and close that for now, and we're gonna build in the chords, or at least just one chord that's sustained. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in the first note. All right, so what we do here is just turn on our master filter and uh, pull this down pretty much to about between eight and nine o'clock. All right, so that's pretty much our pad that's gonna be heard throughout the entire track. Next, let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. Actually, let's just go ahead and duplicate this one over here. And we're gonna draw in the intro pattern that is heard. Let's open up Nexus 2. And we're gonna change our category to Plucked. And the preset is PL Hands Up Bells 2. Here it is right here. So let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. So that's pretty much the intro right there, but we're just gonna go ahead and cut off a lot of the highs on this bell as well. We're gonna bring this down to about 11 o'clock. So as usual, we'll be arranging as we go. So that's our intro right there. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. Actually, let's go ahead and just delete that. We're gonna duplicate this, because we'll be working with the same bell sound. Let's just move this over for the next four bars. I'm gonna create a four bar region, and we're gonna draw in that main melody we hear in the chorus. Uh, it goes something like this. That's the main melody that we hear. Uh, it's a little bit brighter than the other one, so I'm just gonna bring that up a little bit. And then we're gonna duplicate this track once again and have a third bells in there. And there's an underlying melody that's happening, and it goes something like this. And 
we're just gonna make this one a little bit darker by pulling down the cutoff. And also this pad gets copied over. Now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this pad part because there's another underlying melody with that one as well. So we're gonna just uh, duplicate that track and we're gonna create another four bar pattern and let's go ahead and draw in that underlying melody. So all together, everything together sounds like this. Let's just make a little bit more room here. As you can see, the beat is starting to build up. Next, let's go ahead and get to those drums. Right, so let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. Let's bring this down to over here on solo everything. We're gonna bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And uh, let's start off with the kick. Uh, we're gonna be working with a couple of drum kits here. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the Post Malone Rockstar right here for the kick. Pull this up. Let's draw in that kick pattern. This pretty much duplicates itself. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And let's bring in those snares. This time we're gonna be using our Big Sean drum kit. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in that snare pattern. and this just gets copied over. Now for this snare, I'm just gonna make it a little bit brighter, gonna cut off some of the lows. That sounds good just like that. We are getting there. Uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this track and uh, remove this EQ. Next, let's go ahead and bring in those crashes. So we're gonna bring in the Rockstar drum kit. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in those crashes. Alright, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track over here 
and uh, we're going to bring in our open hats or sorry our closed high hats so uh, let's get to that Now the hi-hats in this song is pretty much panned all over the place. So for the tutorial sake, I'm just gonna push it to 20 for this hi-hat. And for our hi-hat rules, we're gonna push it to the other side, to the left channel, minus 20. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna create another track and let's get in those hi-hat rules. Let's change this to a brush tool and let's draw in those stutters first. So we're gonna change this to 30 second notes. And uh, here we go. So that's pretty much the hi-hat roll pattern and that repeats itself over and over again. So something like that. So I'm going to adjust the attack on these hi-hat rolls here. I'm going to move up it a little bit to give it a little different feel. For these hats, I'm going to create a track stack here. So I'm going to select all my tracks, create a, create a track stack, and we're just going to add in a reverb here for all of those just to give them some space and air. Let's add in a little bit of reverb to our snare as well. All right, next, let's go ahead and get to those 808s. So for the 808, let's go ahead and just duplicate this over eight bars as the 808 is an eight bar pattern. So we're gonna create a new software instrument track. We'll bring down our 808 over here. We should probably label our tracks as well, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's open up our ES2 synthesizer and then we're gonna bring in that 808 preset. Close that for now. Let's go ahead and draw out our 808 pattern. We'll go two bars at a time to make life easy. Let's change this back to 16th notes. Actually, let's just change this back to the pencil tool.
the brush tool and we're going to draw in 30 second notes right here. So we're going to get stutter hits right here. Okay, next let's go ahead, move it over to the next two bars. Uh, here we go. bars we are almost there actually look I believe the pattern is the same as this one over here so let's copy that over and for the last one let's go ahead and draw that in just put together the pattern right there. Here it is in its entirety, but before we do that, let's go ahead and adjust this ES2. So what we're gonna do here is just adjust the attack, first off and foremost. Let's lower our release time. Let's go ahead and add in a little bit of drive. I'm just going to cut off a little bit more of the high end here with an EQ. So there's our 808 right there. Next, we're just gonna add in a little bit of sauce and bring in some of that piano as well with the melody. All right, so let's create a new softer instrument track. And we're gonna bring in Logic's piano. Let's go to piano, Steinway Grand Piano. Now, this is not really heard in the song, but I feel like it adds a nice little spice to it. So let's go ahead and just loop up this first four bars. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in the first progression. have it in the background like that. I'm just going to take off some of the highs here to make it a little bit more airy and more post Maloney. Let, 
Next, let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And we're gonna draw in that melody, that rock star melody that gets stuck in our heads for the past week or so. I'm gonna solo these two for now. So there's the piano right there. I'm just gonna adjust the attack on this so it's not so plucky. All right, so that's pretty much the beat right there. Next, there's like a little B part here before the verse. So we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate all of this. And uh, the only thing that changes here is these bells come out. And let's just duplicate this for visual purposes. So you see the change. And then there's another four bar pattern that happens here, a new melody. And uh, it goes something like this. What octave were we in over here? We are in C4, okay. So now we go something like this. That just repeats itself like that for this B part and then the kick kind of cuts out for a bar. Where's our kick? This is why we have to name our track. So here it is right here. So this cuts out for about a bar and uh, I'm just going to bring up this pad a little bit. All right, and that's pretty much the beat right there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Post Malone's track, Rockstar, featuring 21 Savage, remade in Logic Pro X.
So that's Post Malone's track, Rockstar, featuring 21 Savage, remade in Logic Pro X. This is pretty much the foundation of the track, and they just copy and move some of these pieces around, and you got yourself the full arrangement. For your Logic users out there, I'm going to place this entire Logic session for you guys in the description box below, so you click that and download it. For your non-Logic users, got your back as well. As usual, I'm going to export all the MIDI stems here and include the drum kits, the drum samples that I've used in this tutorial, so you can also find that play pack in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. Below. For more good videos like this one, remember to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, guys, I'll talk to you on the next one. Talk to you all soon. Later.